Hello everyone. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I'd like to talk to you today about an upcoming City of Fort Worth project. My name is Bradley Radovich and I'm one of the project managers in the Transportation and Public Works Department's Capital Delivery Team and I'll be the construction project manager for the upcoming Crowley Road, Eberman Parkway and Sycamore School sidewalk project. This presentation was originally meant to be given at an in-person community meeting with all affected residents and other citizens who utilize this street. However, due to the city's response to the coronavirus outbreak, the presentation has been recorded in lieu of the actual meeting. This presentation is meant to provide you with some information about the scope of this project and give you a little bit of a heads up about what to expect with the upcoming construction. Here's the agenda of what I hope to cover today in my brief presentation. I'll be talking about the project as a whole, providing some background, reviewing the scope, and providing you with information on phasing and schedule. I'll also cover some frequently asked questions. This project was prioritized for the 2014 bond sidewalk funds, but other locations had even higher safety priorities. This location was therefore a high priority for the 2018 bond. The location was selected based on the high pedestrian volume and safety for pedestrians, considering the high speed on Hewen Street. The project scope includes installation of sidewalks and ADA ramps to improve safety and walkability for the pedestrians. City of Fort Worth, being one of the blue zone cities, encourage our residents to walk by providing them with safe walking facilities. The project is funded by 2018 bond funds, which was voted on by the residents of Fort Worth in May of 2018. An in-person public meeting was conducted for this project during the design phase on February 20th of 2020. We were happy to meet the residents and address their concerns. Slide four shows the project location and limits the project limits are Crowley Road from Alta Mesa Boulevard to Everman Parkway, Everman Parkway from Crowley Road to Sycamore School Road, and Sycamore School Road from Everman Parkway to Hemphill Street. Sidewalks will be installed along the east side of Crowley Road and the north side of Everman Parkway and Sycamore School Road. All sidewalks will be made ADA accessible by constructing ADA ramps. We will also be installing three bus pads at the Trinity Metro bus stops. Each bus pad will be 18 and a half feet by 11, a concrete pad that will enable riders to more easily board and leave the bus. Slide five shows a summary of a previously held design phase public meeting. Attendees were given the opportunity to ask questions. We wanted to share with you the three major points that were asked during our question and get these out of the way early in this presentation with our responses. Will trees removals be necessary? No tree removals are going to occur on this project. Will traffic lanes be temporarily closed or detoured? Yes. The outside northbound Crowley Road travel lane and the westbound Everman Parkway and Sycamore School Road travel lanes will need to be closed during construction. The closure is planned to be only during the daytime hours and will be reopened when the contractor is not on site. Coming to the project schedule, we have completed relocating the utilities that were in conflict with the proposed sidewalk design. We have also completed the acquisition of easements required for the construction of driveways and ADA ramps. We will be executing the construction contract in early June and are anticipating start of the construction on July 1st of 2020. Total cost of construction for the sidewalks in this location is $415,000, and it will take approximately four months to complete the project. To maintain traffic flow and safety of the construction workers, this project will be constructed with the outside northbound Hewen Street travel lane closed during daytime work hours. This lane closure is planned to only take place during the daytime hours when we reopened when the contractor is not on site. On slides eight and nine, I'd like to review some of the more frequently asked questions. I'm not going to read them verbatim, but I'll just go over them. Basically, the questions deal with concerns about access and impact to neighbors during construction activities. 
We understand these concerns and want to let you know that you will have access to driveways at all times during the construction and the sites will be restored to at least the condition that exists when the construction began. If there's any, at any time, if there is a problem that you would like us to address, our contact information is given on the last slide. Please call me or Mr. Noel Sanchez, the superintendent on site. The typical width of the sidewalk is going to be five feet and there will be some transitions to six feet at the curbs at the ADA ramps. Where existing trees are located, um, they, the width of the sidewalk might be reduced to minimum of four feet to preserve the tree. Again, we're going to reconstruct the driveways and phases so that you have access at all times, which is very important for safety reasons. Irrigation systems will be restored or repaired and or adjusted by the contractor who has much experience in doing this. Those will also be left in the, at least as good a condition as they were found. And the construction materials left on site overnight, there will be construction materials left on the site, but the con contractor is bound to prioritize cleaning the work site every day before leaving, and the travel lanes will always be open. So on weekends, we will endeavor to keep the construction materials out of sight for long periods where the contractor is not going to be there the next day, perhaps. Again, as we move forward, I'd like to share these two points of contact with you. We look forward to improving the infrastructure within the city of Fort Worth, and thank you for listening.